ever since his destruction of Diego Corrales in 2001, Floyd Mayweather has generally been considered the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport. The only real threat to that mythical title, April 2002, when Jose Luis Castillo bullied Mayweather around the ring before ultimately losing a disputed decision. We'll find out what Floyd has learned about infighting in the five years since that night. One question for Ricky Hatton could be, does he have enough experience against top-notch opposition for this? Hatton points to his wins over Costa Zoo and Jose Luis Castillo, but both those fighters were well past their primes, as Mayweather most certainly is not. And will Hatton be skilled enough and quick enough to deal with Floyd Mayweather's brilliance? He is about to find out. And now we bring you inside the arena where it is an ongoing celebration of the presence of Ricky Hatton in the fight. And a question becomes, will Mayweather, with all of his experience and his skills, be energized in the right way by the crowd, which is going to be so overwhelmingly against him? Or will it in some way throw him for a loop, causing him perhaps to make an error of aggression? Just check this out. It's an amazing scene, ladies and gentlemen. Unique in our experience in the sport. Very much like being at a massive college football rivalry game. Harvard-Yale, perhaps. Wabash-DePaul. Michigan-Ohio State. Take your pick. Larry Merchant, second time this year that we've been here for a Floyd Mayweather fight of this magnitude. An unbelievably brilliant year in boxing in terms of great matchups. Six months ago in this arena, Lloyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya smashed all records for financial impact, but they fell well short of creating the kind of excitement that a lot of people, particularly in the general public, had hoped for in the fight. Can Mayweather and Hatton reach more modest expectations here tonight? Possibly, but to predict it would be hope over experience. The hope that Hatton can pressure Mayweather into using the art of war more than the art of self-defense at which he is so sophisticated and dominant but which also frequently drains all the drama out of a fight whatever we have this scene we have this event thousands of true believers hoping that their hero their neighbor, their friend, can somehow give a little bit of hell to a fighter, an American, who thinks he is heaven sent. Nobody's been able to do that yet, Jim. And indeed, nobody's been able to do it largely because Floyd Mayweather is seen by many as the most brilliant defender in the sport. Emmanuel Stewart, uh, Ricky Hatton is a dynamic inside fighter. What can he do, what must he do, to break through the brilliance of Floyd Mayweather's defense, which has been mystifying for other fighters? Normally, I've always said that the guy that would be Floyd Mayweather would have to be a big welterweight. But the fact that Ricky Hatton is not a big welterweight, but Floyd is not big himself, I think Ricky has a better chance than the average guy because not only does he put a lot of pressure, but he knows how to do things to neutralize the shoulder roll of Mayweather. And that's about not just coming directly in at a straight line. Attacking, using his feet, attacking Mayweather from angles. Unlike what De La Hoya and the other guys did. I think, I think Ricky's foot speed is something that people are underestimating. And the intensity that he fights with, which is unlike anything that Florida's ever fought. He fights with the same intensity and emotion that the crowd that supports him has. But I think Floyd's superior skill would give him an advantage, but it's not one that I would be comfortable with if I was a betting guy. Comparisons continue to enter my mind. It's Army-Navy. It's Texas, Texas A&M when the game is played in College Station and the core gets to do all of the stuff that they do before the game. It is really an amazing scene. So you've seen the ad hoc pageantry that surrounds us. Now let's begin the official pageantry with ring announcer Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moments away from the moment you've been waiting for. First, 
we will honor the fighters and their respective national anthems. Here to sing the national anthem, God Save the Queen, there are stars, there are superstars, and there are legends. The legend is with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Tom Jones. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. God save our queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, long to And now, ladies and gentlemen, the multi-Grammy-nominated American Music Award winner, star of the box office smash motion picture Transformers, please welcome HQ Entertainment Platinum Recording Artist and a one-third of R&B supergroup TGT, Tyrese Gibson. Oh, say. Can you see by the dark's early light what so proudly we at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or oh, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets' red flame, the bombs bursting in a That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangle banner yet away? Oh, the land. And the whole of the world. And the majesty of the fight draws a diverse group of celebrities. That's movie star Jude Law. Not far away from Jude Law in the crowd, Ray Leonard, who once fought a fight of this magnitude at the summit of the sport in September of 81 against Thomas Hearns, the man just to the other side of Jeff Wall there. Mark Cuban, Wayne Newton, and Helio Castroneves, the Dancing with the Stars trio, here to support their Dancing with the Stars teammate Floyd Mayweather. Tiger Woods is a big fight fan. So too is actor Will Ferrell. Mario Lopez is a denizen of the L.A. gyms, along with his Dancing with the Stars partner from last year, Karina Smirnoff, who was Floyd Mayweather's Dancing with the Stars partner this year. Denzel Washington makes it to many of the big fights. This is quite a diverse and star-studded celebrity group. Wesley Snipes just on the other side of Denzel here, closer to the camera. David Beckham is here to root, no doubt, for his countryman, Ricky Hatton. Jeremy Piven of Entourage and Movie Fame. And CA agent Jack Tiernan is as good as his word. Brad Pitt and Angelina 
Alberto Lee are both here as Jack swore they'd be. And Gwen Stefani. No doubt it is quite a celebrity group. Hail of the tape. The Floyd Mayweather and Ricky Hatton. A one-year age advantage for Hatton. They're virtually